Hello everyone, my name is Emma Mallory and I chose to do my paper over the movie Wonder. So Wonder is about the life or a year of the life of August Pullman who goes by Augie. Um, Augie has a facial deformation condition called mandibulofacial dystosis. Um, so it affects like his facial features and facial shape causing him to not look like your average kid. So Augie's been homeschooled his whole life because of this because he knows how people react to him and he just doesn't like it. He doesn't want to deal with it. But his parents are like, okay, you need to go be around your peers, be around kids your own age. So they push him to start attending a private school. So he starts school. He gets bullied a lot, taunted a lot, gets a lot of notes. Um, just overall doesn't have a very good time in the beginning, but towards the end, he starts making a lot of friends, starts really enjoying school and all that he's learning and experiencing. And by the end of the movie, he's like the most loved kid in the school. Um, everybody loves him and he ends up receiving an award for his ever present kindness that he always presented to others, no matter if they were bullying him or being mean to him. So... The issue that I said was in the movie was um, two stages from Erickson's stages of psychosocial development. I said um, Augie is seen going through industry versus inferiority and identity versus identity confusion. So I saw um, industry versus inferiority within um, Augie being supported by his teachers and his parents but not being supported academically, socially, you know, all of those things by his peers. Um, they thought that because he was homeschooled and because he looked the way he did, he was automatically, you know, dumber than them or lesser than them. So they knocked him down academically, made him feel inferior that way. And then socially, Augie is very much lacking in the social skill department. Um, he has not had much experience with kids his own age. So, you know, the judgment of them and the way they presented themselves to him just kind of lowered his self-esteem even more. So the next stage I said was identity versus identity confusion. Um, I saw this through um, his peers made, Augie's peers made fun of a lot of aspects about him. Um, before he started school he really knew who he was, really knew what he liked and what he wanted but you know, coming into a new group of kids who have all grown up together, you kind of got to change a little bit. So they made fun of these aspects of Augie and forced him to change. And so he kind of lost himself a little bit. And they made him feel inferior because of his looks once again. So I talked about Augie. You know, he's very smart, kind, funny, um, very intelligent kid. He needed um, acceptance and support throughout the movie from himself and from his peers, teachers, family, from everyone around him. Uh, he changes a whole lot throughout this movie from a shy, quiet kid to, you know, this strong, independent individual. Um, the first scene that I said showed industry versus inferiority was when Augie's being given a tour by three of his uh, future classmates, um, Julian, Charlotte, and Jack Will. Um, Julian makes a comment about how the science elective is very hard, so Augie probably won't be spending much time there because he's never been at real school before. Um, obviously, Augie is very gifted in science, and just because he's been homeschooled doesn't mean that he can't understand science like that. So, the next scene I said was identity versus identity confusion. Um, Julian makes fun of Augie's Padawan braid that he has. Um, and when Augie gets home, he cuts it off just because of the way Julian made him feel. So Julian lowered Augie's self-esteem and made him once again feel inferior because of his braid. So I chose this movie because of how interesting it is. I've read the book. I love the book. This is just a very interesting story to me. Um, it really taught me to always remain kind and to always persevere no matter what life throws at you.